All right, what's up guys? So today got another video where we are uh, improving the power handling of this car. So if you watch a couple of my previous videos, we did the super capacitor bank under the hood. We did the big three upgrade. We did the new alternator. Uh, we did some power runs and some ground runs to the back. Um, well, what's left? We got to put a battery back there. So what we're going to be doing is building an LTO bank, lithium bank, 40 amp hours of the Yinlong cells. And we're going to be building a custom mounting bracket to hold those cells in where the spare tire usually goes. So we're going to take spare tire out, build us a Yinlong bank, put it where the spare tire goes. So if you're into something like that, I hope you watch the video and I hope you like it. Thank you. So this is what we're going to end up doing. So you can see those are my Yinlong cells that we're going to do. We're going to do six of them um, to give us 40 amp hour bank. Hi, Tommy. The world's friendliest cat, literally. Hi. All right. And so you can see this fender well, excuse me, not fender well spare tire well rack that we built is just about as wide as that lithium bank is going to be. So if you can envision what we're going to do is basically take these, build some sort of tie down mechanism and mount it here to where they're like that. And then I had these old uh, sky hot. Oh my gosh, this cat, these, um, uh, Sky High Car Audio bus bars, and that's what we're going to use as our bus bar here. Instead of me buying some new ones, I'm just going to use some that I already have. So we're going to have the bank here, and then power wires probably going to be coming in from the back, and then run to the battery bank, and then we can bus everything off of here like that. So here is what the... Um, how we're going to mount these uh, these cells uh, down. Uh, man, I can't talk today. This is gonna be the mounting system for the lithium cells. So basically what I did was I just took some spare plywood that I had and I cut it to length to where that will, oh man, I got these out there. I cut it to length that I needed it and then what I'm gonna do is, I've got these little wedge pieces. I just used my skill saw, set it at a 45 degree angle to cut these. That's gonna go there. This is gonna go here, like that. So it creates like a, a stopper for the lithium cells. They're gonna sit right here and then this, it's going to go on top of them to hold them down. See, if you can kind of envision, it's going to be like this. You know, that's going to run up to there like that. Going to have six of them. And then that is going to go on the top. So then we have these holes. And I'm going to have a T-nut on the bottom. And then that way I can bolt this down to hold it. Now, of course, I'm not just going to leave it wood colored like that. You won't be able to see it, but my OCD is going to drive me crazy if I don't paint that. So we are going to paint that somehow. And I am going to glue these down to that. And that way that bolt can run right there down on the outside like that. Okay guys, this thing's coming along pretty good. I'm pretty excited with how this has turned out. So let me show it to you. It's still not painted, but let me show you what I have so far. So that's what that's gonna look like. So you can see 
if you can imagine like when I open up my trunk the spare tire normally sits down into the car and then this you know normally where the spare tire goes but I built this to fit into that space I did end up having to trim it because of the uh, it's not an amp rack anymore and you can see this is where it bolts down at or where it connects to the car. There's a little plate here and then it bolts into the car. So I had these little rubber spacers. Yep, there you go. To hold it up a little bit. That way we don't run into that bolt that's going to be sitting there or that plate. And here's my bus bars here. So I'm basically going to have, you know, a positive run like that, a negative run like that and then I can bust everything off of these so then when you open the trunk this is going to be sitting here like this and then it's going to have a platform over it and I did clean it up some you know I took my router rounded over all these edges just to make it a little bit more neater a little more professional looking and everything here is modular. These are all T-nuts. Everything, even though spacer holes have T-nuts, everything has T-nuts in it. That way I can pull this apart as I need to. And then we got these stoppers here, keeping it from moving side to side. So I'm really happy with it. I think it's, I think it came out great. We'll just kind of see how it looks after we paint it. Now here's a quick look of it when you take the um, take the lithium cells out. So you can see, like I said, everything comes apart. Like this came, this sits on there like that. Then I got, uh, where are they? These great big long quarter 20 bolts to hold it down. Then that, you know, with those spacers, these little allen head bolts run into see everything is uh t-nuts even even these have t-nuts that way if i need to take them off i can and i am going to cover these with something you know because one of these is going to be a positive run and we don't want to uh we don't want that to short out so i'm going to put a foam backing here or something so that doesn't short out but you can see this whole thing comes apart if I need to pull it apart. So our painted pieces are dry now. I think they came out really good. So what we're gonna do now is assemble all of this. Now, some things I did off camera. I used this, uh, this foam sound deadening material to put on the surfaces of this that are gonna be touching the lithium bank, just so there isn't any rubbing or scratching or anything like that. This is like a soft padding, just to give it some cushion. And I know I covered up all my paint on this one, but you're not gonna see this one anyway. So let's assemble this and see how it looks.
so the last thing to consider now with this Yinlong bank is the balancer. I got this from dropinhertz.com. This seems to be a pretty popular one. This Haltech um, 4 to 6S capacitance active balancer. They spell active wrong. <laughs> anyway, for an LTO bank. So I think what we're going to do is pull this out of here. There's your plug. Is mount this something like right here maybe and then have all my wires running up to the bank which is going to be right there oh man that sun's bright all right guys so let me show you how this thing is going to mount into the car so that bottom piece Right, I cut this to kind of fit the shape of the wheel well. And it's got this that was normally designed to hold down a spare tire, but I'm obviously using it to hold this down. I did need a little spacer here to hold this up a little because it was sitting kind of kind of cockeyed because of this. You know, this was up here and this was kind of running downhill. So I put this spacer here. I'm gonna have to go back and paint that probably. But now you can see why I use those spacers. It's so it's so it'll clear the height of this bolt. Or excuse me, of this uh yeah, of this of this bolt here. So then the batteries are gonna be sitting right there, like that. And then a platform is gonna be sitting on top of the whole thing like that, so that the box can sit on top of the platform. So then when you open this up, this is what this is gonna look like. Now I don't have this mounted, so, you know, those just sit right there like that. Then I'm gonna have power wire. My power and ground's probably routed right through here. And then this is gonna hold this down. All right, and then I got my bus bars right there where I can, all this room to run my power wire. And then I got this platform here. I built this in one of my other videos where this is gonna go like this. Okay, so all you, you really can't even see it. And then this is gonna bolt down here. I've got these, these that run into uh, threaded rivets right there. And then, of course, the subwoofer box is going to be sitting on top. So, yep, just like that. All nice and concealed and safe and secure. All right, like this thing, this thing's held down really good. It doesn't move. Our gap right here is about perfect. You know, this thing fit just about as good as I was hoping. It is a little tall. It comes up just a little bit, but this has a little bit of flex in it, so it should be it should be okay.
Okay, so here's what that battery bank is gonna look like under here. We've got our positive bus bar, our negative bus bar, our balancer. Balancer is all wired up, so we have our positive pole here and our negative pole here that I'm just gonna run to the bus bar. Then we can just take all of our power runs from the amp right there. Okay, so the last step of the battery install is to create a cover for it. I don't want my subwoofer box sitting right on top of it. So we've just got this uh, piece of MDF here. I did have another video where I made this and I carpeted it and everything else. And I even put in these threaded inserts so that I could bolt it down. But I don't think that's necessary. I mean, if you just sit it on top, there really isn't a reason that it needs to be bolted down. And I also put on these uh, these little one buys here to raise it up a little bit because I don't know if you can see it or not, but this, the top of this battery cover sits just a little bit higher. Very hard to see, but it just sits a little bit higher than the end of the car does, right? Like by about a half an inch. So if I sit this, if I put this down on there, it was resting on the battery and I didn't like that. So I raised it up with these one buys. So anyway, then this just sits down, sits down on top of the battery like that. I didn't really like the carpet, so I went ahead and covered it with some of this leftover fur. Matches my ceiling. And then the box, subwoofer box is gonna sit on top of it. Then all the pad, battery cables, I think the power runs are gonna run right in here and attach right to that bus bar. So coming along, almost done almost ready to install.